Local new video tonight shows the moment a suspected speeding car clips a tractor trailer in Sterling. That tractor trailer flipped and burst into flames. Yeah, our Northern Virginia Bureau reporter Drew Wilder shows us the dramatic crash captured by traffic cameras. But first, a warning. This video is difficult to watch as the truck driver was badly hurt. That video is chilling. We'll give you a little bit of lay of the land where this happened. So we're on a wide sidewalk up above Route 28 in Sterling. This near lane northbound, the far lanes are southbound. You can see where the guardrails all torn up there. That's where the tractor trailer collided last night. Let's take you back to the video. I want you to keep your eyes on the right side of the screen. Those are those southbound lanes I was just showing you. You can see a car come through, clip another car and the tractor trailer. The tractor trailer veers towards the shoulder. It hits the guardrail, flips, and then it erupts into flames. The Loudoun County Sheriff's Office says other drivers stopped, rushed in, pulled that tractor trailer driver out of the burning cab, and they say that driver is in the hospital tonight with life-threatening conditions. The sheriff's office says 18 year old Jose Padilla Espinoza was likely speeding when he hit the tractor trailer and that other car. Padilla and the driver of the other car were both treated for their injuries at the hospital and released. Though once Padilla was cleared from the hospital, sheriff's deputies took him to jail and charged him with forged vehicle tags and driving without insurance. The sheriff's office says additional charges are pending, but they want to hear from anybody who might have witnessed this on Route 28 last night. They likely want to understand how Padilla was driving in the moments leading up to that crash. And any of us who have driven on Route 28 on a weeknight certainly know the amount of traffic that moves through this area just before 7 o'clock would have been the tail end of the evening rush. So there were certainly a lot of witnesses and probably even more people who drove by and saw that tractor trailer cab on fire. Reporting in Sterling tonight, Drew Wilder, News 4.